welcome. Today we are continuing the I Declutter My Ukuleles with the help of my husband series. I'll add a link to the playlist up on the corner. Oh, a series. I thought you were calling me serious. Why? My husband serious. No, my husband. I Just declutter my ukuleles with the help of my, my husband, husband series. Yeah. Oh, I kept hearing serious. No! My husband the serious one. I mean, you are the serious one, but you're also the funny one. Serious black? Anyway, um, I think I counted 23 or 24 concert ukuleles, so this one's gonna be a little difficult to... What's that face you're making? Are you judging me? No, 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 no. 23 is a perfectly reasonable number of <laughs> instruments to have in your house. Oh, the exact same instrument to have in your house. Just like it's normal to have 23 pianos or okay. 23 okay. saxophones or 23 okay. accordions. It's perfectly normal. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you accept that. Mm -hmm. You chose this. You married me. You did come with a drum set into this marriage. I, I gave away the drum set. <laughs> You're not gonna like the note I'm starting on because I'm starting with the Pano ukulele and the, the face is so intense. <laughs> oh my god, you're sweating. It's a lot of pressure for me too. <laughs> um, this one I'm keeping. And this yeah. one's signed by Cynthia Lynn. Mm -hmm. And this one was the gift from Ken. Thank you, Ken. So this is on the keep pile. Um, the keep pile is staying here. And then the go away pile we have over there. In the other room. Okay. Hand me the next one. Sit in the middle, and I will have. We can have. Or actually, yeah, actually, yeah, that works if you want to do something like this. Yeah. By the way, I'm giving a bunch of these ukuleles away to subscribers and viewers, family, friends, and in elementary school. If you would like to win one of the ukuleles, stay posted by um, hitting the bell icon here, and then I'm giving a few away on Instagram as well. So follow me on Instagram, and I'll make a big announcement once these are all getting shipped out. Um, this is the Enya X1M. This is an affordable model that they launched and I love it a lot, but I don't play it enough. This is a great uke if you're looking for a budget Enya that has that mellow tone that is the um, laminate material. So yes, this one's on the go away pile. This is an Amuma ukulele. I talked about the soprano ones in a previous video. Um, now I feel a difference. This one has uh, sharper frets, but this one has high quality tuning gears and a tattoo and an interesting shape sound hole. Um, but I don't play it, so giving away. That's a great ukulele. This is my beloved blue ukulele from Enya. Um, this is from their Kafka model. This is one of my favorites. I will probably keep this one forever. Um, this is an Ortega ukulele. This is from their Tiger series because of the pattern of the wood. And this one I actually do play with, so this is on the key. This is a Sunstar ukulele that comes with the EQ so you can plug it in, so it's acoustic electric. I love this ukulele, but this one is on a giveaway. I'm waiting to hear back from the winner. If they don't respond, I'm going to choose a different person. So that one is going away. This is my Wendy Moth ukulele. My friend Wendy, who is an art teacher, painted all of this on it and a little moth on there because it was a moth like outside of her apartment. She took a picture of it and added it to the ukulele. It's very precious to me not only because of the cause that Bondi ukulele um, has but also because of the artwork on it so I'm keeping. This is an Ortega with an EQ as well, electric. I have not used this ukulele enough but I do absolutely love it. Um, it's a great ukulele. I don't, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but again, I don't play it enough, so it has to go. This is an ADM concert ukulele, super, 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 super budget. They say it's mahogany. I don't know how mahogany can be so affordable, but that's what it says in the description. It's a pretty decent ukulele for the price. Decent. It's not like amazing. This one's growing away. This is an Uma ukulele that has gloss and an abalone inlay. This one actually is a little heavier than all the ones that I've held right now. This one also has a slotted headstock and all chrome tuners. 
My mom said she wants to pick up ukulele and I love this one a lot so this one's gonna be a gift to my mom. This is a beautiful pink ukulele from Sundona. Um, this one had a buzz that has now gone away magically somehow. This one I'm giving away to one of my subscribers, Abby. She really liked it and she's in the Philippines so this one will be living in the Philippines. This one is Enya's brand new smart ukulele and this one has a LED fingerboard that lights up. So I would like to make one more video where I show this lighting up. But then I would like to give it to, away to a subscriber who can read the app because the app is in uh, it's Chinese. I don't know if it's Mandarin or Cantonese, but if you download the app and you can read the language, let me know in the comments below because I want somebody to be able to use the full function of it, which is the light up keyboard. So I'll do one more video with this one and then give it away. Mm -hmm. This one is one that I called the sexy ukulele because I like the look of darker woods and I like the binding on it. This one also has strap buttons and is one of the lighter ukuleles. Um, it has really, really, really low action and very bendy, I don't know if that's the right word, bendy strings. So I would like this one to go away to someone. They're here to pick up the toilet. <laughs> is it a crime that I have so many? I got interrupted by a siren. Um, this one has a very unique look to it and um, it's very comfortable to play so I would like this one to go to someone who may have issues with carpal tunnel or arthritis or anything like that because I think it would be very comfortable especially since it has the strap buttons it can be held this way so if you have such condition let me know in the comments below. This is a Donner ukulele with an EQ, which means that we plug it in. It has strap buttons and it has one of the comfort sides. I know that there's a specific name for it. I never showed this on the channel because when I unboxed it, it had a very, very intense buzz. It's still there. So if you are someone who knows how to repair buzzes or you don't mind taking it to someone, let me know in the comments below. This is going to be given away. It's a beautiful looking instrument with an abalone inlay. Um, aside from that buzz, I mean everything is fine. This, I can feel the frets but they're not sharp so let me know. This is a very light, very beautiful tattooed ukulele from Yuku Global. They're like growing on Instagram so I'll link them down below. One of my subscribers on Instagram who really 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 follows all the challenges recently had a ukulele uh, kind of break on him. He's in Abu Dhabi, I believe. So I think this is the one he wanted. So this will probably go to Abu Dhabi unless he tells me otherwise. But yeah, this one's going away. I love the ukulele. It's very cute, but I, I'm not going to play it. I have too many. This is a Van Gogh ukulele that I unboxed recently and I talked about how short the frets were. Um, this one's going to be given away because I'm not going to play it, but it's an okay ukulele. This is a beautiful pineapple concert ukulele. I love it. I think it's a very, very beautiful, charming children's ukulele or someone who likes very kawaii culture. The gig bag on it is beautiful as well. It plays well, but I'm not going to be playing it, so this one's going to be going away. Here's another Uma ukulele that has a little bit more details on the binding abalone inlay uh, rosette and then kind of a beautiful bridge against this wood here. I have not even played it as you can tell by the tags hanging from it so this one is going to be given away. Thank you Uma Ukulele. I hope that they start selling on Amazon soon because a lot of people really like them but the reason why I haven't played them a lot on the channel is because most of the audience can't buy them online yet. They only sell in stores in Asia so that's why they haven't appeared so much. This is a concert ukulele from Duke that is very lightweight and I have the same model for, I mean the same design for all of the sizes from soprano to baritone so I'm keeping this one to do a size comparison and I'm hoping to find like three other players that will play with me to make a ukulele quartet and we have the same ukulele so yeah I'm keeping this one. Thank you so much for helping. This is the Elise model or Elise signature model and this one has a really big voice. I actually had to do post editing on the audio because it was so loud. 
So I really like this ukulele. It's got a re real beast of a sound. So this one is staying. This is a concert ukulele by Uma. As you can see, it's really beautiful. It's one of their more lightweight models. I'll make sure and like link any ukulele I show on here down below. So far, um, there's only one that I wouldn't recommend, so I won't link that one down below, but all the others have been pretty good. I'm also going to let my dad choose one. He might like this one though. This one kind of has a guitar look to it. What do you think? It's kind of nice, huh? I like it. We'll see which one he chooses. This is the M6 from Enya, and I absolutely love this ukulele a lot. Um, it has one of the most comfortable fingerboards to play on and for that reason I gave this to my husband So this is not mine to give away. Are you keeping this one? We're keeping that one. We're keeping that one This is a beautiful simple minimalist pineapple concert ukulele from Uma ukuleles That is very lightweight and it's one of those ukuleles that has nothing on it like nothing super Decorative and for that reason I find it so beautiful. It makes me think of the old classic ukulele So um, this one is really beautiful, but I don't play it. So It's going away. It hurts me though because it's the only concert pineapple in the collection, but that's okay That's okay. It'll go away to a good family <laughs> Oh, it's so heavy this is the banjo ukulele from Gold Tone. It was actually an award-winning ukulele that um, everyone's raving about on the internet. And I gave it away already to Maria. She's a lady that I met when I moved here to Maryland. And I have not met up with her yet. So hopefully, Maria, we will meet up soon so that I can give you your new baby. Oh, I wish I would attend this. And believe it or not, this is a ukulele hybrid, just like the banjo uke. This is a San Lele. It's a mix between the Sanchin, which is the Okinawan instrument, and the ukulele. I do plan on sharing this one on the channel much more. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I'm definitely keeping this one. You want to come join me and talk about what we're keeping? It's like a minefield. I'm sorry. Oh my <laughs> You just played a flat G with your foot. Mm, well, I'm flat footed. Don't say that around your family. <laughs> I feel like I should get rid of more. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one for every the other week. That's um, the leap year one. Well, you know the Beatles song. Eight days a week. <laughs> okay, so we are keeping eight ukuleles, one of which is yours. Stop being weird. And um, and we're giving away around sixteen, I believe. Maybe more? How did I do on this? I can't clap. <laughs> Are you gonna cry again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, on that note, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned to this channel and the Instagram once I start giving these away. Um, I probably won't do them all at once because shipping costs a bit and my frugal husband would kill me if I spent a thousand dollars on shipping so I'll be sending them out slowly but um, yeah I'm happy to share these with you and my family my friends and the elementary schools that I contacted so far so yeah thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one Sayonara!